Pleia is the king. Pleia is the king. Pleia is the master king. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so. Prayer is the master key, my dear brothers and sisters. Prayer is the master key. In whatever you are doing, you must commit it into the hands of God because God has the ultimate say in whatever you are doing. Therefore, in teaching your children about how to live a good life and how to become a responsible person in a society, you need as well to put them into prayer because prayer is very important. Most of times, you may be trying your best while the enemies are there manipulating your children's destiny. The only way to, and the only way to overcome, to conquer them, both physical and spiritual, is through prayer. So you need to teach your children how to pray so that they will be able to be praying all the time so that whatever they want to do, they will first of all commit it into the hands of God before they now go ahead to perform that thing which they want to perform. So it's very necessary, very, very important that any family, every family should have an altar. The altar is very necessary. The altar I want, I'm talking about is an active altar. The active altar where the right will be burning day and night on that altar. You make sure that your altar is burning all the time because of the negative forces that is going on in this world today. Whether you like it or not, the spiritual control the physical. So therefore, you need to have an active altar. If possible, you must have at least four or three intercessors that will be interceding for your family, for your children's destiny, because that is what you are going to help them to become somebody in life. It's not all about teaching them how to eat food, how to spend money without teaching them the spiritual aspect of life. Life is spiritual. So we need to teach your children how to pray. They have to know how to pray, especially life from their childhood. They should be able to know how to pray. They should be able to know how to commit whatever they want to do into the hands of God without waiting for any other reason or waiting for any other thing to do it. So it's very, very important. So, and I'm, I know that God do answer children's prayer. God do answer their prayer because they did not have any atom of sin in them. So you cannot say that if there is anything you find it difficult to get from God, just ask that of your little child, six years old or four years old, to pray over it. If God did not answer it, you know that I myself is a liar. I've witnessed it. God do answer children's prayer. So it's very necessary. You teach them how to pray. I, I could remember one family like that. They used to pray all the time. Their, fam, their father had taught them how to pray. Even their mother had taught them how to pray and how to study the word of God. It happened that the father wanted to travel to Porta Court the following morning. And he called all their children. His own six years old son said to his father, Father, kneel down let me pray for you. Do you know what the child said? The father, the father did not even disobey the child. He, he agreed. He obeyed the child. He knelt down. And the son just, he laid his hands on his father's head. And he said to his father, My father, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. The leg you used to go out of this house, you shall use it and return back. Nothing shall harm you. Do you know what? And they all said, Amen. They all concluded the prayer. And the father prepared himself and went out. He boarded a bus. He entered into a bus. The box he entered was going to Porter Court. And the bus was filled with people. They were going, they travel, they are traveling to Porter Court on their way to Porter Court. When they arrived at Benin City, it happened that the people there were inside the bus, some of them were armed robbers. And they started shooting gun up and down, firing gun. And they said, bring out everything you have with you. 
I say your last prayer. They started shooting every shooting here and there. They didn't even care who you are. So they were shooting. They killed almost all the people in the box, including the driver. But do you know what happened? As they were shooting the gun, the bullet was falling on the surface of the man's body. The child, the, ma the father of that child, the gun could not, the bullet could not penetrate his body. It was as a result of the prayer that his six years son prayed over his, him in the morning before he departed from that journey. That was what saved him. Every other person in that vehicle died. They died because of the, the shooting. But the, the gun, the bullet was just falling down from the, from the body of the, fa the, the father of that child as if it was water. The thing could not penetrate his body. Someone beside me said that this man is belong to secret society or he was, he has charm. That's why that's why he did the gun, the bread does not penetrate him. But it doesn't he the man doesn't carry any he doesn't belong to any secret society. Neither was he a native doctor. He's not even a native doctor. It was just the prayer that the child made over his father. So you can see it now. The importance of prayer. Had it been that the child did not pray over his over to his father, his father may have might have been among the people that died in that box. So it's necessary that we teach our children how to pray. Pray all the time. Pray without. Pray in season and out of season. So it's necessary. Teach them how to pray. So that whatever they do, they will commit it into the hands of God. Before they start performing that. Am I in the without God we can do nothing? We have no power of our own. We don't have any strength. So it is by his power, by his grace that we are still living. So it's necessary we teach our children how to pray. It's necessary. Thank you very much. God bless you.